What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Another Vintage Cube Draft here. It is a stipulation this time. And uh, we're going to take... We're playing a uh, stipulation provided by Travis, otherwise known as Unease Joker. And um, the goal is to bring all the land hate, bounce, crucible, strip mine, etc. Make them concede. Power and land fixing is all good. So... It just depends on... I hope we get the cards is really the problem. But we're going to be looking for them. We're gonna we're gonna have our our peepers peeled. <coughs> All right. Play four color doubling season, you won't win, but using Baby Jace or Nahiri to vomit out Emrakul is so much fun. I don't hate it. There's a winter orb. Is there anything better? <clears throat> See, the problem with winter orb is that it stops our lands too. But I guess everything is going to. I also like Thran Dynamo to get back. So like, I think winter orb comes back, but if we get Thran Dynamo, it goes really well with winter orb. <clears throat> when I first got a Magic Star State at Doubling Season, would Nick Bolas and Iona out of Tron? That's, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, Orb definitely wheels. I think we're taking Thran Dynamo here because I want to be able to have Artifact Mana when we blow up all the lands. Terastanon does blow up lands. Hmm. Nothing in here that's great. Birds of Paradise could be a, a pick here. I just hope we get the... Yeah, we're going to take birds here. <clears throat> I just hope we get the correct... Uh, you know, ways to deal with lands, I guess. Ravages of War. Alright, we're definitely taking Ravages of War here. Have just award two hundred dollars. Yep, <clears throat> that's reasonable. Yeah, non land ramp is super important. I like ravages more than wildfire because obviously I don't want to kill our birds and things. Assassin's trophy gets rid of lands, but <sighs> hey, it's down to two. It's down to two hundred. Seems good. It does seem good. None of these cards seem very good, though. I think it just might be Assassin's Trophy. Unless I'm, like, missing something. I don't think so. I like killing their guy, giving them land, and then Ravages of Warring. And <clears throat> it's all coming together, boys. It's all coming together. I like Jace as well, but I don't foresee us being a Bant deck. I feel like Abzan's probably more in line with what we want to do. Got him. Gilded Lotus? Oh, that's great. We can go Gilded Lotus into, like, Armageddon. Yeah, that's perfect. That's gas. Like, we play Gilded Lotus with six mana, and we just go Gilded Lotus, Armageddon. Rakdos Signet's probably okay. It's mana ramping. Yeah, I'll take Rakdos Signet. <coughs> I 
I do like a Vraska here. Because you want Planeswalkers, which don't die to your... Day of Judgment's cool, but, like, you kind of don't want Day of Judgment and these because you want to be able to set up having creatures and then... and then kill all the lands. I went one two with this kind of deck. Expect you to do better. I appreciate the vote of confidence there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to be Abzan for this bad boy. Oh Reeves, I didn't even see the one blame Rob book. That's pretty funny. Appreciate it. And the Winter Orb came back. Also Everflowing Chalice. Hmm. We'll take Winter Orb. Winter Orb could be good with all our mana fixing. Or not mana fixing, but uh, artifact ramp. Maze of Ith, don't care. Knight of the Reliquary could be decent. Maybe. Terastodon does destroy lands. Could be a decent top end. <clears throat> oh, actually, Knight of the Reliquary would have been great. If you destroy all the lands and play Knight, it's just insane, right? I didn't even think about that. I was thinking more of destroying lands than taking advantage of the destroyed lands, so. Yeah, I like Knight a bit better, too, unfortunately. Maybe it'll come back a third time, huh? Well, Ravages and Armageddon both make it fat. Knight, Knight's probably not going to wheel when there's only five cards left in the pack. <laughs> that is not how that works. Oh, uh, Avacyn coming back is pretty sweet. I guess it's like Una's Prowler. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to play any of these cards, but... Ooh, and Barrel Right seems great. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, Una's Prowler with Barrel Rights, one, one after the other is pretty good. Discard this and Barrel Rights it. Legion's Landing. <clears throat> Hostage Shaker was a consideration, but we're not blue, so I'd rather not. I'd rather not go for a blue card when we have no blue mana, uh, and no reason to really stretch our mana that way. That's even a fine last pick. Also, we can Legion's land. We can we can Armageddon and then attack with three guys to flip Legion's landing, and then we get a land out of it. There is an upheaval, but we're past that. Wall of Roots is good. I also like Godless Shrine. I think it's probably Godless Shrine. We have no fixing lands right now. I think we can get more Wall of Roots types cards. Yeah, I'm going to take, take the Godless Shrine. <clears throat> I 
I think it would have been a sweet upheaval deck, but I'm not sad about our double or like destroy all lands deck either, so. Hmm. Worn Power Stone. Also a thing. Moat was very good for us. I'm going to take the Worn Power Stone. I don't think it's Thalia here. I don't want to like Armageddon. Like Armageddon costs five. Like we have so many spells here. We have five creatures in our deck. I think the Excavator comes back. I don't think people are that high on Excavator. I am hoping for a Strip Mine Crucible, but getting both of those. Borg. Jiraga Tree Speaker? Man. I like Night of Autumn a lot. I think I've I think we've gone over this. Will you play Smoke Sack if you get it? Mm, probably not. I'm not a big smokestack fan because like if they can amass tokens or do any like it's just it's really hard to make the symmetrical effect benefit you. Yeah, it's definitely Tree Speaker. Like, we don't have many one-mana guys. Overgrown Tomb? Yeah, that's probably better than anything else in this pack, I would imagine. <clears throat> Plateau, don't care. Findhorn Elves, probably the pick. Gaius Cradle. We're not a Gaius Cradle deck. We want as many... Like, we want to be able to actually play the Winter Orb, I think. I don't hate Taiga. Especially because there's not many cards for us in this pack. But Taiga... It, we also have Rakdos Signet, which makes it pretty easy to splash if we get, like, a... Bloodstained Mire, wooden, Wooded Foothills or something. Monastery Mentor also pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Monastery Mentor. Tireless Tracker and Boros Signet and Ophiomancer. It's funny having Boros and Rakdos Signet where we're just like, <clears throat> you get these like free free red splashes here. I actually like Tireless, Tireless Tracker a bit more. Like Signets are pretty easy to get. Um... I'm going to take, actually, Walking Ballista could be real good here. Wall of Roots came back. All right, cool. This is why we didn't take Signet. I mean, like, only half on color Signet is not super high priority, but, like, Tireless Tracker, if we do get the Remunap Excavator, it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot nicer. Oh, Rack Skater, but but we did get Southern Wildwood, so I'll take it. I'll take it. We could still get Crucible. I mean, it's definitely an option. I'm probably going to rip this guy out. I don't feel like you're really pulling your weight here. Nissa making your lands 4-4s four and then just killing all of them seems pretty bad. Hero's Downfall, though, seems pretty decent. We also don't have much removal, so I'll just take the Hero's Downfall.
Oh, Massacre Worm. Let's Massacre Worm. I've never, like, I never regret playing Massacre Worm. I was like, oh, they took eight damage off this thing. Cool. Arena comes back. That's impressive. I'll take empty the Cheons. Sweltering Suns. Dubbed dubbed black looks hard here. Uh yeah, but I mean like if we if we start taking black cards, we're probably gonna be heavier black than white, so. And then you get a draft like this with no power in it, and you're like, oh, dang. Savannah's good, though. I do like a Savannah. Yeah, I think it beats out any of these other, any of these other cards. It also gives us Godless Savannah and Overgrown, so if we get any sort of uh, green, black, or white fetch land, we can get all of our colors. Oh, Wasteland, huh? <clears throat> it's gotta be Wasteland, right? I wish there was a way in the cube that you can sacrifice all your lands so then you can like combo with balance. I also don't mind a Johnny Vengeant because that actually seems better. Oh, we're still playing white. We're not just, but my point is like we could, like white could be our splash color with very easy, like we're not, we're never not playing white. It's either a Johnny or Wasteland. I think it's actually a Johnny. We have Rakdos, Signet, and Gilded Lotus here. And we have Birds of Paradise as well. I don't think it's balance. I've seen some decent balance decks. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Ajani. Do any of these get rid of, do any of these do land landy things? I don't think so. Simic Signet's a, an option. Unfortunately, Nicol Bolas and Shonda are not. I hate, I hate land tax, land tax is I like Mirror Battle Sphere. I do like just Signet. Landtax has the word land in it. That's a good point. I actually can't argue with that. <clears throat> oh, Verdant Catacomb is pretty much exactly what we're looking for. I like Battle Sphere and I like Worm, or no, I like Metamorph and Worm Coil, but I think we want this. Polluted Delta, also pretty good. We did get the Smoke Stack. Yeah, not a big Smoke Stack fan. It's not land destruction, it's just regular destruction. Wow. Shriek Maw is also not bad. Delta can get all our colors. Yeah, I don't think we actually need anything else. We're going to just take the Delta here. Uh, oh, Plow Under? Wow, that's actually awesome for our land destruction. For our land denial deck. That's great. Let's do that. Acidic Slime? And Field of, Field of Ruin doesn't really deny them lands, unfortunately. Vindicate does, though. I think I actually like Vindicate better than the 5-drop. We have a lot of 5-drops right now. I'd rather just have a Vindicate. Also, if we play a Johnny, this Blood Crypt is great, especially because we have Polluted Delta and Verdant Catacombs now. That's actually pretty sweet. 
Oh man, this deck's looking gas. 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 I don't know why I said it like that. This looks like a gas. I think we've got Unbarrel Rights and actually we can take Terastodon out. And Unus Prowler, but that puts us like to seven creatures. I think our goal is to just annoy the opponent to death, which is a pretty good win con. I like a Nahiri too. Iona could be good just to reanimate. But, like, here's the thing. If we don't have Una's Prowler, Unbarrel Rights gets worse. I think it is very good, but, like, how do we even cast it? I think we just take Nahiri. We took Skeller because... It kind of actually Garrick is great here because it gives us another planeswalker to make creatures with. All right, we're taking these two out for sure. Probably taking out on barrel rights. Yeah, I could see cutting some signet. Man, people got no respect. Also, Whisperwood could be good with, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Cut Mike's eyelids. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm just going to take Whisperwood. I wanted to hate the tendrils because, really, come on. Don't be miserable. Ashiok is good. That's a late Ashiok. Y'all y'all got no respect. I feel like we can either play Rakdos Signet or Simic Signet. She ordered. And then we can either play Ashiok or uh, a Johnny. Because face down, then face up, then face down. Nah, that's just a rumor. <laughs> oh, that's a solid, that's a solid response. All right, we need one cut here. I kind of like Whisperwood. It seems like a nice, uh, a nice addition. We could just cut the Ajani, make the mana a little easier. Is that worth it? I mean, God, Blood Crypt is, is, is searched by Verdant Catacomb and Polluted Delta. 
So we have three sources there. We also have Rakdos, Signet, and Gilded Lotus. And Bird of Paradise. I'd rather have Garrick than, than a Johnny just because it does provide a steady stream of wind conditions. I can play 41. Don't you don't got to tell me twice. Do we even play one mountain? Mm, maybe. So white sources we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. Okay. 3 4 5 6 7 8. Nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play one more of you, one less of you. I don't think we want the red. I uh, don't definitely want to cut mentor because we do have so many spells in our deck. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. You know. Seven with birds. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Rakdos. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think this is okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, sounds iffy. We don't have any artifact acceleration. We do have a Ravages and a Phyrexian Arena. It's very slow, though. I like this a little better. Not much, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that on top, actually. Everflowing Chalice, what do you think this is? Hey, buddy, listen. I'm going to kill your lands. You can't be playing Artifact Ramp. I see. Thank you. Get that out of here. Beaston, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Huh. We can a Johnny here. I think we just a Johnny, right? Yeah, keep their academy tapped. Beastin' makes me feel good. Oh, that's it. Look at that little cutie. Doesn't that guy just die? Hmm. 
And we'll keep this wild wood tap down so you can't. Don't don't be pressuring my Johnny. Oh, stretch city. Oh my god, that's like the rudest thing you could possibly do. Bustin', bustin', bustin'. But then you kill. I guess you don't, right? Sword duplicate disallow. Wow. More like disallow. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have duplicate mana. So duplicate's just going to get back whatever you get. We don't care about the sword. The disallow is obnoxious, but not really. Sure. Sword. You got it. So they still have disallow mana, which means Vraska is not likely to come down. But this is your only creature, so sure. I guess we could have also attacked with the Stirring Wildwood. Yeah, let's let's be more smart about that in the future because I don't really want to like. Uh, let's just get a Savannah here. I want to be able to activate this pretty easily. One, two, three. So technically they're at 14. They should have taken three more from last turn. So they'd be at seven here. Uh, a Johnny doesn't tap lands. He actually just makes it so they don't untap. So incorrect, sir, incorrect. Sure. Thank you. Miji, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Do we do anything here? I don't think so. There's nothing we can do, right? So just pass the old turn. What can we get with Garrick? Anything good? I mean, how do we have lethal? I mean, you know they have Stirring Wildwood in play, right? They can just block with Stirring Wildwood. So they block here, they take three, four, five, six. Or they block here, probably. Uh, we don't have Acidic Slime. We took uh, Vindicate over Acidic Slime.
Okay, so they activate Wild Blue, they block here. They take two, three, four, five. Negative Ajani is eight, and they go to two. They also have Disallow in hand, so they can not only counter our activation here, but they can activate this and block. <laughs> so I'm not sure, like, what you guys are seeing here. I mean, I'm definitely not giving them the opportunity to get Duplicant back. Like, that seems crazy. All right, so we know they have Disallow and one other card in hand. Going to get Avacyn doesn't really do much because they still have Disallow in hand. So it's like, it's hard to... I mean, I guess we could bait the Avacyn out and then play Avacyn and then slam a Vraska. Sphinx's Revelation. <laughs> nope, don't think so. That's fine. Obnoxious, but mm, ultimately fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, that's something, isn't it? Unfortunately, we don't have a green to plow under and activate Stirring Wildwood. If we attack with everything, their Stirring Wildwood is tapped. And they only have Disallowed. They can counter this. They block here, they take four. Sure. I mean, they're going to have to disallow the activation, but that puts them in pretty bad shape. Three, four, five, six, seven. They are, this is nine, so they have to block at least two. They can't. They can. They can't double block here and block. Here. Yeah, they could. I guess. I don't think that's great though. So one, two, three, four. Yep, they're still going to have to waste the disallow, and they end up having nothing on board. Yeah, it seems okay. Yep, this is a weird... Yep, you got it. One, two, three, four. We're one shy of actually... Uh, so we'll just make a guy to block the Stirring Wildwood next turn. And that should be game because we still have one more Lightning Helix here.
Yeah, pro green, pro blue. That ain't pro black, though. I will block. I'm just going to eat your stirring wildwood. Does it have to trample? How did it still deal damage? What? Oh, because they ultimated Garrick that turn. All right, whatever. They just want to take a peek. Yeah, that's fine. Do what you got to do, buddy. I kind of like Hypnotic Spectre here. I'll take out Whisperwood, play Hypnotic Spectre. Actually, Massacre Rooms is also insane because they're playing a bunch of token makers. Well, specifically Elspeth, but... Hmm... Hero's Downfall seems good. It seemed like they had very little removal, so... no idea what to cut here. This is pretty rough. I actually cut a land here. Wow, that was weird. Go to 41, cut a land. Yeah, I don't love it, but... This hand are very good. Wow. Sure. Amazing. Mm. Oh, I thought they were going to name this guy. Wow. That would have that really messed me up. If we play Tree Speaker, we can't pump it this turn. I think we're just going to go Wall of Roots. It's the best value. Because next turn, if we hit a land, we can actually play... If we have a green land, we can go Tracker into Speaker. Or we can go Worn Power Stone into Tree Speaker. Uh, I want to block here, because I don't think you're going to be able to pump this... I mean, if you want to disallow this, I'm totally okay with it. That's so... That was like the worst one, which is why I threw it out there. Yeah, that's no good.
Yeah, sure. We're like one land behind the curve here. This is problematic, but hmm. uh, you cannot, you know, you can't target your own things with trophy. It is opponents' permanence only. Must be nice. That is infuriating. That is just the worst. Oh, look, we have one black. Only one black. I guess we'll just play a bird here. <laughs> this is what you get for taking out one of your lands, I guess. We're definitely killing that. Cool. Yeah, then we lose our guy. Oh, God, it's just the worst. One, two, three. Nope, that ain't going to do it. All right, I think we're just going to go to the next game. We're, like, way far behind right now. Like, we just can't hit a third land to save our life, so... A second land. We could hit a second land to save our life. That's pretty ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, definitely like definitely like Hypnotic Specter and Phyrexian Arena when they have all these powerful or Heroes Downfall when they have all these powerful planeswalkers that they want to drop. Down plow up a land. We can't. We can't actually take plow out. It's not. It's actually uh, the client crashes if you actually try to remove plow from your deck. I'm gonna keep this hand. We have enough black for this. We have a dynamo. We have a winter orb, which could be good. We need a green source, though. Green source and, like, a signet or something. Actually, Mentor into Winter Orb is pretty busted. 
Earthwing Cloud Skate, huh? <clears throat> if we can go land Thran Dynamo into Winter Orb, that seems pretty nuts. Nope, don't care about any of this stuff. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, so we can get a Overgrown Tomb, I guess. Yes, excellent. Maybe that's not the best this turn. It's probably better next turn. I assume they'll like tap out for something, right? We can make another guy though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana next turn, so we can actually go three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. And it also locks them down from one mana because they only had two tapped, but it locks us down for three, so. Sure. This is what we're hoping for, actually. So we can actually go tireless tracker. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do all the things here. One, two, three. Let's take the sword because you have the most. Oh, like you can, you untap this, untap this. This seems good. So your hand is Gideon Hermit Opposition. All right, what do we have to vote for? Homage, draw a card. <laughs> I will vote for homage. We are not gonna destroy all the permanents today, my friend. I mean, they get to cast this and bounce something, but I doubt they're gonna want to bounce. They're not gonna bounce, they're probably gonna bounce Thran Dynamo. Which I'm fine with. Oh. Fascinating. Oh yeah, I'm fine with that too. We have a hero's downfall. Does hero's downfall just win us the game? Yeah, we know all their hand. We're missing one. Oh, we're missing the extra card from Chorus of Portal. Sure. Uh, I'm probably just going to untap uh, Overgrown Tomb and kill this. Vindicate works too, I guess. So we can crack the clue, actually, which is pretty sweet. Is this lethal? Like, this is gonna be a lot of damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think we're like one shy from lethal. And we get another guy. <laughs> okay. Yep, that'll do. All right. Land denied. Seems pretty good. Sometimes you just gotta deny those lands, if you know what I mean. We did got him.
Oof. Uh, turn two Sculler into turn three Power Stone if we hit a land. Into turn four Plow Under. Seems good. This is why, yeah, this is why you play Monastery Mentor because you can just lock them down and then start playing all your things afterwards, and it's pretty good. One drop. Wow. That's pretty good. We are good at this game. Now do we turn to Sculler, or turn to Mentor, or turn to Worn Power Stone? So now they draw. Yep. Play your land. I think we want to try to what are we getting here over on blood crypt probably I mean we can let them draw one more card and then we get to we get to plow under the library which seems a lot better not a lot better but it's a lot more mana efficient anyway one two three four five seems good I have discard. Fascinating. <sighs> the best laid plans of mice and men. It's hard to trophy this because then they just get two they just get two mana to do whatever they want or three mana next turn and then they get to play a land so they get four to do whatever they want with. Which I guess they do anyway, but we don't actually have any board presence and I'd really like to have mentor out when we trophy something, but Reanimate, chart a course. Tutor, Venser. I think we're just taking the tutor here. I guess you could Venser this guy, but I don't really care. Now we're actually probably taking Venser here. Or uh, yeah, Venser is better because like no matter what we play next turn, they're just gonna Venser it, and then they get to. It's just obnoxious. Like, they can Vampiric Tutor for, like, an Entomb, but, like, whatever they get, we can Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> or just naturally draw it, I guess. Seems good. Thank you. MTG Pyro, 10 months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Longest relationship I've had with no fighting. Wow. Glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it. I'm glad I could help that. Shit. 
she older it, huh? Yep, seems good. So your hand is these three. All right, so like, yeah, your, your library is pretty much offline. One, two, three, four, five. So we can go one, two, three, activate. So use the black. Unfortunately, our white and our green are tied together. This should have been overgrown tomb. I think that's going to I think that's going to mess us up. That's so bad. I guess we can go tire. No, nope, we can't. We can only do one of these two. Oh, that's so stupid. Something to do here. Why is it attached? This should have been overgrown. Should have been an overgrown. We would have been so far ahead. We could have overgrown, played Monastery Mentor, play Assassin's Trophy. This would have been a different game. All right, well. I assume it's like Animate Dead. Necromancy, sure. Man, they're just sold on this shield, dude. I think we have, do we have Restless Apparition in the sideboard? Or was that the last one? That was the last one. It's always weird when they do the card drawing stuff after everything else, like... Fashionably late to the party. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and we just misplayed. All right, yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I don't feel like we're actually in a position to beat a shield rid. Mm. Yeah, none of these cards would have actually affected that. Oh, Hypnotic Spectre is bad. Our own shield rid's okay, but how do we get there? I think our deck's fine like this. I just don't want to, like, board in big creatures and have them have, like, reanimate. Well, they already have reanimate, but, like, also have animate dead. Necromancy also targets our graveyard as well, so. Yeah, let's go Una's Prowler. Let's give them a discard outlet. I mean, to be fair, Hypnotic Spectre could hit the, like, the better creatures anyway. Like, like it could hit the better cards, like, in Tomb or Necromancy or whatever, but... Unbarrier Rates does only hit our graveyard. Otherwise, I would definitely board it in. That'd be sick. 
If I had a way to hard cast this, this shield, or, I mean, we have a bunch of ramp. I want to take out one of these, because I don't think they're that great against this deck. Like, they don't need that much mana, and, like, usually if they get a fatty down, like, you're going to want your mana. I mean, let's be honest, that Collector Brutality was pretty huge. Like, they were able to kill one of our mana sources and put the plow under into the graveyard. She older is old and red. That's true. That's actually how I remembered when I was editing articles for TCG player. That was how I remembered the spelling because you can break it down into she old red three separate words. It's like Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, I don't hate this. We have double black. We have a, a turn two elf, which is fine. Oh my god, here we go. God. Oh my god, come on, dude. Oh, are you serious? Like collective brutality, my guy again, and plow under again. And you might actually take the thread on. Nope, still take the plow under. Okay. Lucky, 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 lucky. Hey, that's pretty good. Did that do anything here? All right, I'm I'm game. Mana. Yep, obviously mana drain. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Hard cast shield red. Sometimes you just die.
Yep, add your four mana. Today's good. Today's good. We go collective brutality and the. Uh, we're okay with things that are happening. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not so sure. Erk, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I'm back using this as a checking for the tubes. Keep up the great content. <laughs> Preach. Appreciate it. Tuesday is poop. Black man one time. Actually, we should have kept the land in hand. Actually, we should have just attacked this stupid idiot. Oh my god, I was so tilted. Oh, we could have just killed it. That was so bad. I guess we still have... No, we're... no that was bad. I was so tilted. Oh my god. Mistakes were made. Yeah, this game... Uh, let's say it took a turn. Yep, that's pretty good. Did we put the shield? Oh, wow, we gave them a shield red. Mistakes were made. Oh, God, if we killed this, we'd still have Hero's Downfall to potentially kill the shield red. What would happen? I got LASIK, right? I got a consult for LASIK, and they gave me an estimate, right? Based on the quality of my eyes. What if I actually stab myself in the eye? Accidentally, of course. That'd be weird if I didn't. If I did intentionally. Would the would the quote still stand? I wonder. And you get half off your LASIK because you have one eye. That's a good point, I guess. That is a good point. Dang it. Did they mention any negatives to the procedure? I mean, no expected negatives. Like, there's no, like... It's not like, you know, you get you get 2020 vision, but uh, you know, you'll have a twitch in your eye for the rest of your life. There's no real there's I mean, there's side effects that could happen, but it's it seems extremely rare. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Oh, I want to keep this, but it doesn't matter, so. Oh, it well, it does matter actually because we're on the drow. So we get to go turn 1 overgrown tomb into this guy, turn 2. I don't know. They're probably going to just entomb something. <laughs> that knife is not for stabbing in your eye. It is for fiddling with and trimming Mike's eyelids. Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that's amazing.
What the hell? This is really interesting. I am much less inclined um, to play a Phyrexian Arena when they have Sulfuric Vortex in play. Guys, what do I eat for dinner? I need to figure out dinner plans. Is this real life? Jesus. All right. I don't know if we have any life gain, so we're just going to take three a turn. We're, we basically have five turns to win the game. If we don't play this, we have, what, six turns instead? Oh, a sub could be good. Actually, that sounds real good. And I get to go to Publix for dinner tonight, and then tomorrow I'll be in touch with you and your family are doing well, and you are not feeling well, and we'll be back in the office on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> oh, God. For those that don't know, XD Threat literally just auto auto entered that entire message. Oh, pizza sounds good too. I was actually leaning towards pizza earlier today. Cause I was like, I don't feel like going out. I'm just gonna order some pizza. They can bring it to me. I have leftovers. Am I streaming all night? No. Are we are do we lose the last round? Is this a different This is a different deck. That's why they didn't have Huh. What is the vegetarian equivalent of Denny's? <laughs> I mean, you know I can eat like eggs and stuff, right? I could just eat Denny's. Well, three, four, five. So we go to. Pretty sure this game is over. I don't think we can actually win here. Yeah, Sulfuric Vortex is kind of a beating. I just made that up. Yeah, but it's factual, so it's okay. I guess we're untapping the Savannah. We go to five here? No, we go to like four here, right? Yeah, that's rough. We don't have a second white source. Hmm. Wow, that Avicen would be amazing if we had a second white source. Maybe? I don't know how we're still alive. It's not good. <laughs> what 
Oh, Lord. I don't actually think we have many. We we could actually draw a Johnny Vengeant, gain three, <laughs> and just hope they whiff on draws forever. Oh, can, we can't gain life, can we? Oh, Christ. That card's brutal, man. If they can deal me one damage, we're just dead, but I don't know. I, I mean, we're pretty much dead anyway. Yeah, sure. Why even wait? Why even let me block? Just kill me. Doesn't even make any sense, man. Come on, get it together. None of these things gain us life, unfortunately. I just want, I just want to gain a little bit of life. Is that too much to ask? Rastodon is a solution. A big fat eight mana solution. I don't know if that's what we're looking for, but we could just bring in the buried alive, massacre shielded Terastodon package and just become like a I'm gonna submit like this real quick. Because I kind of like this idea. Oh, and Barrel Rights needs to come in. Ah, uh, submit. <laughs> submit at 43. Don't care. All right. So. Take out Mentor. Take out Worn Power Stone. All right. No, you'll crash the client. <laughs> Oh man, that's a that's a solid throwback there. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Our plan is to get a new one, and it was a pleasure meeting you and your family are doing well and that you are not feeling well. And we'll be back in the office on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday this week. And next week is fine with me, but I don't know if you have any questions. That's very good. That's very good. Oh, wow. We just have it all. Could have played Wall of Roots this turn, but I ain't in the business of taking an extra two damage if I don't have to here.
Hot dogs are sandwiches and a hot dog, hot dog, or hot dog, hot dog for dinner or dinner, dinner, or something. What? Hmm. <laughs> Well, that is problematic. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We can search for a creature. Did we bring Massacre in? Black, black. Oh my god, we're one black shy. I mean, we could find Terastodon, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We only had six mana, so like, I'd rather just find Masquerum next term and next term, next turn. Yeah, this is fine. Sure. Well, that sucks. Yeah, we brought all the big creatures in. Yep. Actually gets perks, too. Well, we can just block it with a wolf, I guess. Seems fine. Sad it gets trampled, but I mean, it's still. We traded a Zell's Conscripts for a Garrick and four damage, so. Eh. Whatever. <sighs> Should have actually held that land because of Tireless Tracker, but. We have seven mana. We can play pretty much anything we draw, except for Terastodon. Do we bring in the Walking Blista? No. So we have Shieldred, Massacre Worm, and Terastodon, I believe. Sure. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. I'm about to bust. I'm about to bust. Yep, kill this in response. Kolagon's command. Shut up and take my money. Got him. One good night book. S. Fuel saying, have a good night, buddy. <laughs> I 
Huh. Okay. Cute. We'll take the conscripts, because Kiki Jiki doesn't actually scare us by itself. So your hand is actually pretty tame. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you have seven mana, so you can go Bob and Kiki Jiki in the same turn. Copy Bob. Attack us for two. All right, we can block. Bob down. Badlands down. Massacre one time. One time. Like you do. Oh, I call my own plays a lot, but that doesn't change, like. Got him. No, lucky music. Lucky, lucky, we can lucky, use it. Lucky, we can use it for the good guys too. <laughs> Is it only for the bad guys? <laughs> oh, I actually like this hand. I'll keep it. Turn two Sculler into turn. We got an Assassin's Trophy and a Garrick, and then this guy for the late game. That's I'm, that's, I'm, I'm all good with that. Ill got him games. Oh, that's actually a that's actually a great name for a game store. Ill got him games. I am concerned about this goblin guide. Their start might be a little too quick for us. We take another two, and then we take two from this. We're at fourteen before we even play something. Welp. That sure makes our deck worse, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. I mean, if this bird survives... Come on, we can do it. Oh, you're gonna bonfire for one. Oh my lord. Lucky, 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 lucky. Dude ain't got no class. Can I get a land like one time? Literal one time would be great. So I could cast my things. Well, this dude has got to go. Wow, Wasteland into Bonfire. They basically killed more lands than we have this game, which is pretty frustrating. Tantrum, happy weekend, buddy.
Still no land and it's a shield red. Yep, we're dead. We just can't do anything if we don't hit lands or creatures that make mana or signets. Anyway, one, two, kind of what I was expecting, but still pretty fun to do. I think our, our round one was great. And if you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Unease Joker, thank you so much for the snip. Really appreciate it. As always, you are awesome, dude. And uh, this, we actually never got to cast Armageddon or Ravages of War, which is pretty surprising. But uh, we still denied some lands quite a bit, so I think it was all right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon below, and I'll see you guys next time.